Hello there, this is Trek Genius. There's no new Orville this week, and it's going to be many weeks, but there's no new Star Trek Discovery. So, I am making a video to show you how to make your own Tribble. And also, I've uploaded a bunch of convention footage and interesting interviews so that we would have something to watch. I've watched every single one of these, and they're freaking awesome. And it's like behind the scenes with the Orville behind the scenes with Star Trek, Discovery, and The Next Generation, Deep Space Nine, and uh, Voyager. And I haven't I haven't uh, come across Enterprise convention footage yet. I'm going to look for it, though. I liked Enterprise, but uh, they were like... Uh, my wife didn't like it that they kept uh, getting naked all the time for no reason in weird situations. You know what I mean. So um, what do you think about the convention footage I've been uploading. Should I do more or less? And I've tried to make some funny skits. So anyway, I got these Tribbles right here at a dollar store. They're actually keychains, as you can see right there. One dollar. They had brown, black, white, I think red and blue. My wife made this captain's shirt about 10 years ago. She made her own pattern and cut it out and made it. I got these shirts uh, on the back of a cereal box when 2009 Star Trek came out. I got that poster, I don't remember where. When I was real young, I got a hold of a Star Trek IV poster. It was the original. I figured out that the two glasses, these, this is the old days. Theaters 20 years ago, when I was a kid, were different than they are now. So 20 years ago, the two glass things would slide one way, one one the other, and one one way. And they would have a little hook in the middle, a little lock. And I looked at it, and I thought to myself, hmm, that's glass. The glass is pliable. So I pulled the glass in opposite directions, and the lock popped out. And I said, well, hmm, I don't know what happened if I took this poster. Nothing happened. Of course, I was a juvenile delinquent. But yeah, that's not from that. But I do have I do have the Star Trek IV original poster somewhere. But uh, I like to collect cool things like that. And when I saw these tribbles, I grabbed them. So yeah. Uh, anyway, following now is how to make your own tribble. Or you could just go to the dollar stores and find some. Not Dollar Tree and not corporate dollar stores all across America. Independently owned dollar stores. That's where I would look. Okay. Trek Genius, uh, comment and subscribe. What do you think of the videos I've been uploading lately? We don't have any new Star Trek, so I said we watch Star Trek convention stuff. Over and out. Okay, so what you want to do is cut out two patterns of dumbbell-shaped things like this. The, the bigger you cut them out, the bigger they'll be, obviously. So you cut out two patterns, then you find some furry-ass fur. This is what the pattern looks like. Now you have to go to a fabric store and get the fur. And then you cut the, you trace the pattern onto the fur thing and cut it out real close to the uh, hard part of the fabric so not to get rid of the fur because you want it to be extremely furry. Then you lay them like this and start sewing them together, touching there. And you sew closer and closer, making basically a globe. And then you finish up like this, stuff it with uh, plastic bags from Safeway or cotton or whatever. And then you finally sew it up like this. And that is how you make your own tribble. This is how you buy a Tribble keychain. Don't spend 4 or $8 at Walmart, though. What you want to do is search dollar stores, like I told you previously, and they'll have their own Tribbles. Uh, they're not corporate stores. Yeah, blah, 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 same stuff I already said. Uh, I've been doing these videos because I am bored with no new Star Trek to watch, so I've been making my own videos and putting convention footage up, and I think it's pretty cool. Uh, make sure you comment and subscribe. Trek Genius over and out. It means a lot to me. Well... Not really, but it means a lot to someone, I'm sure. Also, if you like what you just watched, you can see even more content on the Fox Now app. Don't say I ever gave you nothing.